Hi everyone, it's Phaedra from allthingsphaedra.com and she's on the go.com because I'm coming to you with a travel video today and today my destination doesn't look that exciting. I'm staying in the Georgetown Suites, which is exciting because it's right in the heart of Georgetown. This quaint little historic section right in the heart of Washington, D.C., right on the Potomac River. It's full of shops, it's full of restaurants, it's full of activities, and I'm going to show you all the great things that I am doing here in Georgetown in Washington, D.C. So a good stay somewhere starts with a place to stay. This is the outside of the Georgetown Suites, and guess what we're doing? We are heading for an exercise class. I know, I feel the same way. Um, we are gonna do a bar class. All right, guys, here we go into the bar class. Wish me luck. So if you've never done a bar class, this is kind of what the studio looks like. My arm is shaking a little bit because it's hard. But what I love about this Bar 3 studio here in Georgetown is it still maintains a lot of the original architecture. We don't know how old this building is, but it's still got the original pillars, some of the original brickwork. This is a very colonial area, and in fact, there are offices just above, so they actually do the, the silent headphones for some of the classes at lunchtime so that they don't disturb the businesses upstairs but it was exhausting, but now I feel like I'm ready to take on the rest of Georgetown. Look at some of these city streets behind me. Georgetown has a long history, um, history with George Washington, the father of our country himself, but what I'm most looking forward to is all the little shops and restaurants. I'm gonna go back and shower up. I don't smell so great right now after the bar class. And then I'm gonna show you some of the shops and the restaurants that give Georgetown a little bit of its own flair. Here's our next stop in Georgetown. It's a place called Via Umbria. It's a cafe, it's a market, it's a butcher, it's a cheese shop, and it also offers cooking classes. I'm gonna go learn how to make pasta. a few new skills and my belly is pleasantly full and now I've got time to kill before my next eating activity so I'm gonna do what I think you're supposed to do in Georgetown and I'm gonna go shopping all right so we did our shopping in Georgetown and apparently this is the time of year to go because I got some great bargains great deals but now it's time for nightlife we started with a drink at Clyde's which is, I guess, uh, kind of an institution here in Georgetown. And now we're heading into Pinstripes where we're gonna have some dinner, some drinks, and a little entertainment. I mentioned earlier that I was staying at the Georgetown Suites. They actually have two properties, the Harbor Suites and then here, the Courtyard Suites. And we're taking a tour of the property and it's amazing if you can see behind me, it's all of the rooftops of Georgetown. You can see the history and the architecture and it just so happens to be a beautiful day. I ate, I shopped, and now it's time for a little bit more activity here in Georgetown. We're gonna go inside Paper Source and we're gonna do some paper crafts. Now, if you know me, I am not a crafty type, but I bet we can make something happen. Um, so when you are uh, setting it, you wanna hold your heat tool about two inches above the paper. I came, 
I saw, I crafted. Did you see those beautiful cards I made at Paper Source? And I am totally not a crafty person, so they didn't go exactly as planned. But you know what, I loved that I had this great experience right in the middle of the city. You know, it's one thing to walk around and to eat and drink, but it's kind of fun to have these actual experiences while you're here. So, in order to wrap up the weekend, I'm gonna head out for one last night in Georgetown. Okay, I had to change my attire. It's really cold outside, but I'm gonna warm up with an Italian place called Il Canale, if I'm saying that right, which from what I've read online is supposed to have some amazing pizza. I think we should go check it out. one excellent meal of pizza, but apparently these guys have won fourth place in a worldwide pizza competition held in Las Vegas. I don't know if that means anything to you, but I can tell you from personal experience, the pizza was great. Now, how should I wrap up this tour of Georgetown in Washington, D.C.? Well, I'm gonna extend the night a little longer, and I'm gonna head to Blues Alley for a little bit of live music. So a little bit of jazz at Blues Alley, and now I'm ready to call it an early night. It's okay, it's okay. Um, I've had a great time, and now I kind of have the quiet city streets of Georgetown all to myself. Unfortunately, the shops close a little bit early here. I mean, early for my taste. But I have had a wonderful time here in Georgetown, and you know, I've been here for different events, but I haven't really had a chance to explore the food and the shops, and. You know, two or three nights here is just the perfect amount of time to really get a sense of this area, the flavor of this area. If you're coming to Washington, D.C. for a visit, maybe plan a few nights in Georgetown. If you happen to be a little bit more local, maybe just plan a weekend away in Georgetown. There's a lot to do, a lot to see, a lot to eat, and it's kind of fun just to walk around. So thanks for joining me. I hope you like this travel video. I have more coming your way. So please be sure to like and subscribe and leave me your comments. Tell me what you think about Georgetown. Thanks and I'll see you next time.